We're going to start today's notes looking at an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is an angle which has the vertex on the circle. So angle ADB intercepts this arc AB. And the measure of any inscribed angle, so the measure in this case of ADB, is half the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So it is not congruent, its measure is half. So below we have two theorems. One is where the inscribed angles intercept the same arc. So if I look at angle, say ABC, I'm going to call this angle 1. If you follow along, ABC intercepts arc AC, and then also ADC intercepts arc AC. So angles 1 and angle 2 are congruent, as they're both half of AC, and their measures would be exactly the same because they intercept AC. And then another pair of angles in this picture, let's put an angle 3 here. So BAD intercepts arc BD. And also number 4, DCB intercepts arc BD. So those two angles are congruent as well. So any inscribed angle that intercepts the same arc is congruent to the other angle that intercepts uh, the arc. Now in a semicircle, so let's look at the semicircle here, AB is 180 degrees. So this inscribed angle, again each of the endpoints of the angle are the endpoints of the arc that intercepts, half of 180 is 90. So an inscribed angle in a semicircle is a right angle, which will then give us a right triangle. So let's look at examples one through three. The first one, find the measure of angle LMP. So let's do that first in purple, LMP. The vertex is on the circle, so it's going to be half of 36. So the measure of angle LMP is going to be 18 degrees. Next, the measure of arc MN. So arc MN is here. If I take those endpoints and follow along the chords that form this angle, if this angle is 48, so going backwards, it's an inscribed angle. The vertex is on the circle. Double 48 in this arc is 96. So the measure of arc MN is 96 degrees. In the middle, so in the accompanying diagram, the measure of angle BOC is 60. So this is a central angle, so the arc BC is congruent. Find the measure of angle BAC. It's an inscribed angle as the vertex is on the circle, and that's going to be half of the intercepted arc, so half of 60 is 30 degrees. So the measure of angle BAC is 30 degrees. So I used the central angle to get the arc, and then I took half of the arc to find the measure of the um, inscribed angle. The last one, find the value of x and y. So if that's 120, here's a diameter. So this is 180 degrees. This semicircle is also 180, so that means that arc would be 60. So I have a total sum of 360. Following along here, here, this arc of 60 degree angles is being intercepted by this inscribed angle here. So x is going to be half, which is 30 degrees. And then angle y, if I follow along the chords that make that angle, intercepts this arc. So that means that's a right angle. y is equivalent to 90 degrees. Now, inscribed quadrilateral theorem. The theorem's written there, and I'll read it momentarily. 
And we're not going to prove that theorem, but we're going to go. Sh we're going to show below why um, the theorem holds true. So it says that quadrilateral ABDE can be inscribed in circle C if and only if the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle D is 180, and the measure of angle B and the measure of angle E is 180 degrees. So op what it's saying is the quadrilateral can be inscribed a circle if and only if its opposite angles are supplementary. So I'm going to show in the picture below why the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is 180 degrees. So let's start by looking at A. Here's angle A. So in pink, the measure of angle A is equal to half of its intercepted arc because it's an inscribed angle. And that arc would be BCD. Now let's take a look at angle C. Angle C is here. And that intercepts the arc BA. D. Now to get rid of the one halves, I'm going to multiply both sides by two. So two times the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of arc BCD and 2 times the measure of angle C equals the measure of BAD. If you take a look at the picture, the circle, you can see that both arc BAD and BCD, they make up the whole circle. So the sum of those two arcs is 360 degrees. So the measure of arc BCD and my picture is pink, plus the measure of arc BAD highlighted in orange is equal to 360 degrees. Now using substitution, I'm going to replace BCD with its equivalent part, which is double the measure of angle A. So 2 times the measure of angle A plus, and then substituting for the measure of BAD, I'm going to substitute 2 times the measure of angle C. So I can get the angle measures within my statement. Divide the whole thing by 2, and we get the measure, again, divide the whole thing by 2, and I'm left with the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is 180 degrees. So it's not a proof, but it is explaining why that theorem holds true. On the back side, given a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, I need to find the measure of the, the four angles of the quadrilateral. So I know opposite angles. I know x plus 2x is equal to 180. And I also know that 2x plus 4 and x minus 4 is equal to 180. Combine my terms, those cancel out, I get 3x equals 180, which I get over here. So I end up with the same equation. Divide by 3, x is 60. So therefore, x is 60 degrees. Let's do the measure of angle y. y here, so 60 minus 4 is 56. Z, double 60, so 2 times 60 is 120. And then the measure of angle W is going to be 2 times 60, so 120 plus 4 is going to be 124. You can give a quick check to make sure they all add up to 360, and they do. Number 5, what is the measure of angle BAC? BAC is highlighted here. It's an inscribed angle as the vertex A, that letter in the middle, is on the circle. That intercepts arc BC. So if I can find BC, I can just take half. And another inscribed angle that intercepts the same arc 
would be BDC. And I can find this angle because in this triangle right here should be a sum of 180 degrees. So 101 and 23 is 20, 124. So 180 minus 124 is 56. So this is 56 degrees. So therefore, since they intercept the same arc, this is also 56 degrees. So the measure of angle BAC is 56 degrees. Last theorem deals with a tangent and a chord. So it's stating in the picture that, uh, well, in the theorem that goes with this picture, that B P F is half of arc B E P. Where the tangent and chord intersect, uh, intersect, that is on the circle. So it's very similar to the inscribed angle. And then um, B P D, again the vertex is on the circle, that's half of the arc B A P. So, looking at this example to go along with that theorem, what are the measure of angles BAD? BAD is half of this arc, which says is 210. Half of 210 is 105, which makes sense because these are supplementary. So, the measure of angle BAD is 105 degrees. And then I have to find the measure of an uh, arc BOA. And that should be double 75, which is 150, which makes sense because 150 and 210 is a total of 360 degrees.